I founded Later Sightings, uh, a community of wildlife lovers when I was 15, just because ever since I was eight years old, when I went to the Kruger Park for the first time, I started to, I fell in love with it. I fell in love with the game reserve. And I wanted to see animals, you know, I wanted to go there, you know, and, and just really make the most out of the trip. And so I wanted to, you know, just get a heads up of where animals were. And that's kind of why I started Later Sightings and it's grown a lot. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it was a hobby during school. Now I'm trying to build, uh, you know, just build the company into like different game reserves around the world and stuff like that. And walking in the, in the middle of the bush, you kind of always feel like what, ha what happens if you walk into a pride of lions. But when that happened, again, like it's so calming. Like, you know, just seeing a pride of lions on foot, there's nothing more natural. Because I mean, before cars and before all of this, we were all doing that anyway. We were walking in the bush and stuff like that. So I think the top of the bucket list are always these adventure things. So paragliding is definitely one of them, which is so cool that, uh, that we're doing this now. Uh, another one is definitely skydiving. That's, that's what I'm going to do next. Bungee jumping, uh, I never thought I'd do, but I did last year. So I think that's definitely it. And uh, otherwise, basically travel a bit and, and see all the, all the famous and, uh, and well-known tourist attractions. Being in the game reserve and, and spending time with wild dogs is, uh, is something that I love to do. They're very caring and spending time with a pack of wild dogs because they're usually stationary also for like hours and just spending time with them uh, is really something spiritual and, and really uh, calming and relaxing. And So I think definitely one of my most interesting pets is one that I still have. It's a, she's a cat called Kiwi because she's all black and she just loves uh, water, she loves rain. She, uh, you know, she has a shower every morning, so she's definitely like one of those interesting cats. The coolest thing about the internet is that it allows, you know, it can really just change everyone's life. I mean, for me, just the school aspect about, about the internet helped me so much, you know, like, uh, but watching a video uh, and then doing a bit of exercise, you know, whether it's maths or, or science and stuff like that, is my absolute best way of learning. It can change something about uh, the planet in general. Uh, I think in terms of technology, I think uh, definitely uh, just internet access for everyone because I think it, it could really change the planet. And, and again, like what I said about school, if you have internet, you can learn anything, anything in the world, like it's all there. When I was 15 and I started this and I had no money, the best hack was to try to find the free ways to do anything. Uh, like one was, instead of paying advertising, I would just search for people in the park and target each one of those people personally and directly, you know, so that by doing that, they show that I actually care about them, I want to help them with sightings, and once you help someone, see a leopard or their first pack of wild dogs ever they want to then just join the community and so so for me that hack has been a huge thing and and i still do it every single day so for me any hunting uh, i just i can't i can't i can't really agree with any of it and you know, a lot of people say can lion hunting, there is some good to it, there's conservation, but for me I can never, I can really never, never agree with it. I'm always a believer in animals should be in the game reserve. Just traveling in general, I think definitely if you're with people that you really enjoy, like uh, there's nothing better because even if something goes wrong in the holiday, you, you, you're with people that you really love and you have, you know, have fun time with and, and so I think definitely that's probably the biggest thing is that nothing can really go wrong if you if you're with people that you that you have fun with and uh, and yeah so I think that's definitely a huge advice. So like traveling by yourself is sometimes daunting and so if you if you don't have to rather try go you know with people that you know and and have fun with them. Yeah.